Hey folks, just another uh, pre-Iron Banner video. Um, this is uh, leading up to Iron Banner. We're within hours of the actual uh, uh, Iron Banner uh, reset and and the weekly reset. And and you know, really, I, I didn't even realize, you know, when I was going into this that that uh, Iron Banner actually comes out like. I don't think it's 1, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I was actually playing until about, I don't know, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time to await the reset, but but then realized, of course, that, that, that reset doesn't matter as far as Iron Banner goes. Iron Banner is going to come out afterwards. But in any case, we, we've got some really good uh, shows here as far as, like, um, you know, fire team uh, latency and to hit... Uh, hit detection advantage and and how latency basically works and and him and hinders you so even when you think you're hitting somebody you may not be and even when you don't think you're hitting somebody you may actually be um, so here I, I was trying to kind of wait for this but I didn't realize this is the first time I tr actually tried that particular strategy which was to kind of uh, wait outside of their radar more or less and uh, see if I could catch them running out of the tunnel because I could see that they were there in the tunnel on the radar. Um, but it did not work. Did not work. So I, I switched to. Um, so there you see, I, I went down in two shots to almost nothing. And and again, this is this is something that is um, you know very tiresome. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, I'm I'm playing now with Mita multi tool. I've said you know I'll give it a I'll give Mita a shot, but what ends up happening, especially in Crucible, where there are no level advantages, it doesn't make any sense to use a year two weapon at all. If you've got a strong uh, year one weapon, use it because uh, the 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 level advantages don't matter. The perks are really what matters, and uh, obviously time to kill. And I'll show you that this guy was uh, actually. Um, uh, lagging. Um, what that means is basically that even though I saw that he was behind cover and felt that I was safe to to uh, reload, he was able to come out of cover and shoot me before I was able to even see that he was there. Um, and that's that's a problem. Uh, obviously, I should be able to. And there, he you see, he didn't get any damage, even though he ran right through a, gren uh, a trip mine grenade. I had to sh I actually had to kill him with uh with a shotgun now i don't like i said before i try to give people benefit of the doubt i'm gonna i'm gonna wait and see how they do but um there's there are some behaviors that absolutely without a shadow of a doubt are indicative of somebody who's lagging and i'm going to immediately deal with that so that guy just came out of nowhere right so so we're we're taking this and and my my teammate had no idea that that guy, that guy was there so that's one of those things where um lag becomes an issue right because um you won't see somebody on radar you won't know that they're there Heavy ammo available. uh you th you think you're capturing a point or whatever in in control this was a this is a great thing i should actually spend more time doing that but my super unfortunately doesn't even with a with an intellect build my super doesn't charge uh that fast usually unless i'm leading my team um in kills, which I happen to be at this time. But it will give you some uh, indication. Like you can see here that 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 the um, the uh, Doctor Loveless, for instance, is lagging, um, and that was the person who sh who shot with a sniper in the hallway the the other time. Um, his his teammate is also going to lag because his lag affects his teammate's lag. You see how my my thorn was shimmering there. That's the kind of invisibility that people have when they're lagging, right? So, so if I kill somebody and there's no death animation, their their weapon falls down, and it shimmers like my thorn just did. Those people are lagging. They 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 have they haven't um, they're not uh, the the you know matchmaking or physics server doesn't know what to do with them because there's no information from them. So it just gives kind of a a partial model. <laughs> How do I know this? I've seen this so many times. It's this is exclusively there. You go three, three at a time. 
very enjoyable. So, so uh, you know, it, it actually gives me a laugh when people come onto my my YouTube channel and then and then tell me to get better or say I suck or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, I suck. I mean, I I I don't get three at a time. I can't show you via video that a that a storm storm caller is able to, uh, uh, you know instantly kill somebody from 30 feet away now i have a storm caller by the way i, I i've used storm caller with my and i find it the one of the least effective pvp um uh characters to use because you literally have to hit somebody with your super like i don't know like a second for a second and a half before they die so it is literally the most useless super that i've ever seen in in my experience because i literally i can target somebody and it will take a second and a half for them to die yet some of these guys with storm color can instantly kill you like the moment they're next to you you're dead and uh and and i'd like to know why that is why why is it that some people can kill you with a super you know instantaneously when the super normally takes a uh, second and a half to 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 proc as far as uh, actually killing somebody. Here we have somebody else who's, uh, uh, you know, jerking out of the way. So when I shoot them, they're suddenly five feet to the left. Or when I shoot them, they're suddenly five feet to the right. So they certainly are going to be reported. And just so you guys know, I will report you. It's just that simple. I'm going to report you if I see anything weird going on. I don't care if you're actually cheating or not actually cheating. That's for Destiny to figure out. That's for Bungie to figure out, right? Um, it's not for me to figure out. I have to give them indicators that show that something is weird going something weird is going on. I don't have a problem with my so look there. So the rocket literally went within I would say a game foot of that dude and it the um uh horseshoes and hand grenades did not proc. I literally had to hit the the ground in front of the guy to kill him. And there you see this guy just went zipping by that's a teammate of mine. Um, I thought that might have been due to the um, the the video uh, editor, but it's not. Uh, we're what I, when we do this voice voiceover thing, it's it has to do with uh, you know uh, the 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 you know the speed, the video speed, and the voice effect. So here we we see somebody who was able to set off my trip mine grenade, and then. Uh, jump or or blink above me and then kill me from above there. I have no problem with them killing me from from a blink strike or from from blinking and then coming down with a shotgun or whatever. Okay. What I do have a problem with is that they're able to set off a a, 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 a trip mine grenade and receive virtually no damage. Right. So here I wasn't shot at all. I hadn't been shot at all, and within literally a fraction of a second, I was dead from from what that guy was shooting and that that just isn't the case i hadn't had any damage but i was suddenly dead from whatever it was that he was doing and I, it was not visible to me you know his red his his uh enemy red uh health bar did not come up here we see somebody i'm going to show you this so i hit this person uh two times that's one that's 54 uh body shot uh, he's receiving more damage. Here I get another 54 indicator. He's down below uh, half health at this point, and he's continuing to see re receive damage. Now he'll receive an additional 18 to 24 uh, uh, points of damage. He comes out. We're now at regular time. I see him. He is still receiving damage at this point. Uh, I give him a hit, right? So he's receiving damage now. Uh, and he will do, but his shields are recovering as well as his health. By the time he gets to that door, he's going to be at half health with about uh, a quarter shield. And what is going on with that? His shield cannot recover if he's receiving damage. He, uh, the sh shield sh cannot. And here, half a second later, he's almost at full health again. So, so that's where I see lagging. And if you see me reporting somebody i can absolutely because i can tell at this point that somebody is lagging even though they're green and uh and and Maybe make a report just from the behavior and i guarantee you that within that game or by the next game i will have definite proof that they're lagging either that they've got a yellow bar which this guy will have at the end of this match or um 
now watch this now watch when this guy comes in so uh, now he's he's somehow gotten gotten me from behind a wall gotten me with a super right now I hit him but there's no there's no re recording of that now in two frames he's able to be get the super and watch what happens with my hit my hit even though I haven't shot him kills him right there so there was no indication that I had killed him, that I had hit him. So that's lagging. That's absolute lagging. And he's on a fire team, and that's what's that what that's what's goes on. So he's able to literally go one versus four, right, at a super point without using his own super. It just drives me nuts that people are able to do this, and that Bungie is basically permissive enough to let let people do that this guy of course appeared from out of nowhere right so he didn't appear until he was like right next to me on radar so I've got other players I've got teammates between me and uh, you know B and C and this guy's able to somehow just kind of sneak in with a with a heavy ammo and and uh, hit the um, most dangerous player and I and I think that basically the way it goes is that these guys will pick whoever is um, has the highest uh, score or has the highest KD um, at that particular time and they'll and they'll just target that person right and, and I don't mind that necessarily because it makes it very easy for me to again here we see somebody um, uh, uh, set off a trip mine but not receive any damage from s setting off that trip mine and uh, if you want to say I suck that's fine but uh, you'll have to actually prove it because here I'm shooting somebody undercover with a thorn from 50 feet away in the head um, so if you if you want to say I need to get better go go for it and enjoy yourself knock yourself out but if you can beat beat me on a land party uh, I'll give you that I don't think most people commenting can. Thanks. Bye.